welcome back to another video where we cover even more concepts that are made for Technoblade's origin. Yeah, so now I've made several of these videos already, but these are all some really cool co origin concepts that I've seen, especially from you guys in the comments down below, which I do want to do a video just covering solely the ones that you guys have been suggesting to me in the comments sections. There's just a lot of hype going around for what potentially might become Technoblade's origin, so there's a lot of different origin idea and concepts that are being made. Anyhow, if you're new around here, please make sure to subscribe down below, as it's my birthday on Friday, we're trying to get to 10,000 subscribers before the end of the week, which would be highly, highly appreciated if you help out with that. Also, hit the like button while you're down there. Chilling aside, let's actually go into this and start covering some ideas. All of these were sourced from the Origins Discord server, so make sure to go check that out. A link will be in the description down below. Let's begin. Concept 1 comes from a guy known as Hackerman29.exe within the server. Let's go through it. I thought it was an origin idea for Technoblade because people do that now, I guess. Wither Worshipper. You once worshipped the Wither God, but he soon passed bestowing blessings and curses, forming those who worshipped him into new species, although many tried to resurrect the God they worshipped, but those were shallow imitations of the original. But nonetheless, these imitations recognize the worshippers of their years-long past. Running through the pros and cons, we got the pros. The Wither God's strength. You deal the withering effect on anything you punch with your fist. Wither Restoration. You gain health from the Wither effect at the same rate you would normally lose them. Wither's God Protection. You have one extra heart and have naturally four armor that stack and instant damage potions will heal you and poison will heal you like regeneration. A Wither's Trust. You will not be attacked by any other hostile mobs unless you attack or provoke them first. Like potentially looking at an enderman or not wearing gold armor around piglins and piglin brutes. Except Witches and all of the pillager variations, including Ravager, will still attack you as normal, as well as the Shulkers and the Ender Dragon. The Summon of the Wither God. When you summon a Wither, you get buffs like speed, strength, and the permanent Wither effect, which heals you until the Wither dies. The wither will also not attack you whatsoever. Running through the cons, a Wither's reputation. Villagers will run from you, and village guards, natural iron golems, will attack you. Also, the natural default gossip rate is so much higher, meaning that most villagers will charge you for high prices for things normally. A Wither's Lust. When attacked by mobs or players, if you do not attack something in the next 10 seconds, you'll start taking damage as starving. This effect will clear when you attack something. And last but not least in the comps, we got the Wither Punishment. You take more damage from starving, as in not having food, and you lose more hunger from the hunger effect. You'll also take damage from insta health potions and regeneration will act like poison. Running through the next concept, we got a concept by Inkskit on the Discord server, an origin for Technoblade. Running through the pros and cons, we got blood for the blood god. When you kill something or someone, you gain strength 2 for 5 seconds. You also have speed 1 since you're a pig, and you also take less fall damage when pigs fly. Since you're a pig, you're also smaller, and you cannot eat meat, but you get more saturations from potatoes and carrots. Running through the cons, when you lose 10 hit points, essentially 5 hearts, you get no and don't know where you're going. You also have three less hearts than the average Minecraft player, and you're also completely unable to use a shield. Running through the next origin by a guy called Technoplane in the Discord server. The name is Technoblade, Blood God slash Pateralis, Technoblade's code name, your choice. Running through the pros and cons, we got Blood for the Blood God. Every time the user hits someone, it deals bleeding damage. King of the Withers spawns a very weak Wither or Wither Skeleton when primary ability button is pressed. Subscribe to Technoblade shoots out a rocket dealing damage. Technoblade never dies. When the user has died, a totem activates to save you both from death. It has a very long cooldown. Potions go bro. Potions last a lot longer. My people or pig type mobs are friendly towards you, including piglins, brutes, and all those guys. Master of the Barrow, bows and crossbows deal more damage when fired. Running through the cons, we got the smaller than ever. For my people, you eating meat makes the user take damage. Because Technoblade doesn't use a shield, you cannot use shields, and you also take slight damage to water. Running through another concept by a guy called Not Tommy in it in the Discord server, Technoblade Unfair wanted to make the stupidest thing that I could have. Of course, take this one with a bit of a grain of salt because this is going to be the least likely one to get used because, of course, it's made to be stupid. Technoblade never dies, has an auto totem that has a 30 minute cooldown. Sacrifice. Technoblade is pretty strong, there is so some weaknesses. Certain abilities must sacrifice an item, 
30 second cooldown. Techno Plane sacrifices a diamond sword by clicking G while in your offhand and you gain Elytra for 20 seconds and people can ride you. Both these abilities wear out after the 20 seconds. Poison Blade sacrifice a poison tipped arrow by clicking G while in your offhand. You deal poison when attacking, lasts 20 seconds and the poison also lasts 20 seconds. Hog Run sacrificing a gold apple by clicking G while in your offhand you will gain speed 2 and strength 5 for 5 seconds. Running through the cons you got the pig boy con you cannot eat pork chops you got the it's blade not axe you can only pvp using a sword and not an axe. Techno blade never dies except here you can't use normal tokens to revive yourself and death no blade you take damage from the nether due to it affecting your pig side. Definitely an interestingly broken wacko type of origin based idea but I like the idea of where it was going. Running through another idea from this very discord server we've got a conqueror slash techno blade based origin. Running through the pros and cons the pros is as Hades favor have built in totem of undying. Like if he dies once he respawns but he does not get the ability until he dies again or recreates a certain amount of XP. Battle hardened have three extra hearts, Arcee's Disciple deal bonus damage with weapons, Hermes Grace you also run faster, Blood for the Blood God, killing enemies grants a few seconds of regeneration. Running through the cons, we got Bloodstained, villagers do not trade with you and the usual neutral creatures are hostile towards you. Proud Warrior cannot equip armor that is lower than diamond. Proud Warrior, mining also takes longer. High metabolism, hunger decreases faster than normal. Balanced diet, going too long without either eating a vegetable or a meat will remove extra hearts. Impatient, when mining ores, there's a small chance that you will get nothing and the voices won't stop. Occasionally the sound of a random hostile mob will call out. And Bloodlust, after killing a humanoid entity, your vision will turn red. Running through the next one, we got an origin concept from a guy named Onconsus, being called the Piglin 3 Brute. Yes, another Technoblade origin he knows. Impact 2. The abilities, of course, going through the pros and cons, the pros are never born. You spawn on the never, that's actually just a middle ground. Brute, two times damage with golden tools. Tough, you have eight natural armor bars. Berserk, by pressing the primary key, you can activate Berserk mode, which gives you speed two, resistance two, and fire resistance. This also deals five damage to you when you use it. This ability cannot be used again until you die or sleep in a bed. And the rage ability, you have two extra hearts through sheer anger and determination to stay alive. Running through the cons, we've got Omnivore, can eat crimson fungi and make mushroom stews out of them and give three times saturation and hunger. Fear of souls, you became scared when near soul fire slowness and weakness too fear of the unknown you are scared by the entirety of the warp forest biome weakness three zombie fight when in the overworld you zombify becoming stronger immune to fire but also three times slower than normal players that's it i want to ask you guys to give some concept ideas in the comment section down below for quackity or many other of the different dream smp members that you might want to have joined the server you go right down the origin make sure you start off with the player name that is going to be conceptualized for this origin to be used by. Either way, if you did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe down below. Birthday stream at the end of this week. Pinned comment will have all the timestamps for you. Until next time, guys, I'm going back to the dark place which I once came. Goodbye.